A honeybee colony depends on the coordination of individuals inside the colony. The complex social organization of honeybees has been the subject of many studies for centuries. These studies have focused on division of labor, such as comb construction, foraging, storing and ripening food, nursing the brood, temperature regulation, hygiene, etc. However, as most of these behaviors are hidden from sight, no educational video material has existed. Until now. March 17, 2021, Dr. Paul Silfert and collaborators working at the Bee Research Institute in Frankfurt, Germany, published in the Journal of Plus One a piece of work that will change how honeybee education is performed. Until the 21st century, the available educational material regarding honeybee behavior was almost exclusively confined to text and illustrations. With that in mind, the research team worked hard to develop a unique technique that allows seeing honeybee behaviors never recorded before, allowing scientists not only to observe these behaviors but also to quantify them, helping tremendously to identify, for example, the sublethal effect of pesticides. This is, by the way, another research line of Dr. Silford using this ingenious technique. The way the recording was done is fascinating, and I will let the author explain it. How did you record this whole thing? Um, I, I used a setup uh, which is here located um, in our little laboratory. It's quite red over here because bees are not supposed to be uh, disturbed uh, by light. And that's why we, we put it all in red. And as you can see here, I got um, something running already. So there's some camera footage you, you might be able to see. Um, hang on. Oh, I switched go. it up too often, too often, clicking too often. Here we go. So you, so you can see some bees moving over here. That's just an image of the, of the, um, well, monitor. And that monitor is um, connected to this beehive over here, which is uh, in here. And these, these are the bees you just saw on the monitor. And we can, see, we can do some light with this little device over here. And, oh yeah, here they are. But, you know, um, how I did this, all of the stuff, um, it's probably quite um, complicated and I'm quite busy right now. So maybe I can just join you later and give you the explanations. 
The live stream is scheduled for May 16 at noon Easter time and you can register for the event using the link in the description of this video or visiting insidethehive.tv slash livestreams. It is free of charge thanks to my Patreons on Patreon. One of the most interesting findings of Dr. Silfer was the recording of a rare behavior, the mountain -mount mouth feeding by nurse bees to larvae. The behavior was known in the past but never recorded showing that amount of details. Using her antenna, the honeybee nurse inspects the larvae very carefully that lays comfortably in the cell. The inspection seems detailed and the larvae apparently don't feel the presence of the nurse bee. The behavior continues with the nurse bee starting to produce the jelly to feed the young larvae. The process takes some time and you can see the mount part of the nurse bee working really hard. So many details never seen before. The magical moment happens when the nurse bee produces a bubble of worker jelly that is noticed by the larvae that turn to receive the nutritious material. The mountain mount feeding lasts for a couple of seconds finishing with the nurse bee leaving the cell and the larvae going back to her original position. What a shot! Life is really a special thing. The potential of this recording system to capture changes in the normal behavior of bees is fantastic. For example, using the same approach, Dr. Silfert and colleagues were able to detect the chronic sublethal effect of two neonicotinoids. Colin is fed with 10 parts per billion of clothianidine and 200 parts per billion of thioclopid in syrup showing reduced feeding visits and duration throughout various larval development days. Few studies on whole colonies are limited in behavioral research, while results from lab studies allow only restricted conclusions on whole colony impacts. This new approach of Dr. Silfer can be a game changer for better evaluation of damage caused by pesticides. Talking about evaluation methods, by clicking the like button of this video, you allow the YouTube algorithm to search for like-minded people like you to see this content. So if you have some extra time, please watch the other videos at the screen right now, subscribe if you didn't already, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, InsideTheHive.tv. The show about bees. See you guys next week.